It's just hours before U.S. President Barack Obama jets into the country. Upon arrival, Obama will step out of Air Force One and board his specially made official car. The car is currently a custom-made General Motors Cadillac limousine. Oftentimes, it's referred to as the Cadillac One, the Limo One, or most popularly, the Beast. The Beast can take up to seven people, two at the front and four at the back, including the President. It is a technological marvel, a fortress befitting the world's most popular man. The bodywork is a combination of aluminum, titanium ceramic and hardened steel with at least 20 centimeters thickness. Titanium ceramic can withstand extremely high temperatures discharged by certain weapons. The vehicle is 18 feet long and is estimated to weigh 8,000 kilograms or up to seven times the weight of an average saloon car. Its 20 centimeter thick doors and sealed interior protect the president from biochemical attacks. Oxygen supply and the president's blood type are at hand around the clock in case of emergencies. Its 12.7 centimeter thick armor plated windows are designed to withstand armor piercing bullets. The beast comes in handy with tear gas cannons at the front, a night vision camera, as well as a shotgun. Its tires are reinforced with Kevlar and are puncture resistant. Its rims made of steel enabling the car to keep moving without a drift even after a blow up or a tire bust. According to some online publications, the car runs on diesel with a maximum speed of up to 96 km an hour. Its extraordinary weight makes it hard to maneuver. Inside the base, the president's office is buttons away. It's fully loaded with a laptop, wireless internet, a satellite phone and the hotline to the vice president and Pentagon chiefs. From here, Obama can comfortably run the White House besides enjoying the inbuilt entertainment system. Independent estimates put its price at $1.5 million or 150 million shillings in current exchange rates. Its drivers are picked from elite military squads. People are assigned to the transportation uh, section of the Secret Service and they are then uh, selected. Uh, they are trained and they train constantly. For security reasons, there are two identical beasts on Obama's entourage, making it difficult to establish which one he is traveling in. Many other features of the car are classified. Patrick Gunza, Citizen, Live at Nine.